It was brought to my attention sometime last week during a live stream that I understand applied energistic pretty well, and I can build an image system without having to go look up how to do it or watch tutorials or anything like that. And apparently that's not a super common knowledge base to have uh, because a lot of the people that were watching mentioned that they've never built one because they felt like it was too complicated, which wouldn't really matter because usually there's a lot of other options. However, in all the mods 10 currently, in the current release of it, which I'll admit is very early, refined storage doesn't exist. And so pretty much your only option for a computerized storage system is applied energistics and building an ME system. So what I'm gonna do today is simply walk you through the first beginning steps of how to build your first ME system. Let's get to it. So brand new world, we just spawned in. Obviously the first thing you're gonna do is not build a computerized storage system. You're probably gonna chop down a tree with your bare hand and get some basic tools, then get some food going, yada, 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 right? Normal Minecraft things. However, what we're gonna do this time is I'm just gonna walk you through, once you're ready for a computerized storage system, what you do to get started with an ME system. So the easiest way to start with this is to look at your map. Um, sometimes you'll be able to, to see a meteor, which is the first thing you need to look for right away. Sometimes you won't be able to. So there's not one on this map currently. I'm gonna fly around a little bit and look for it. It's also important to note that in order to mine and to actually harvest the sky stone that you're gonna need off of the meteor, you will have to have a diamond level pick. Give me one second and I'll show you what you're looking for. So if you look at the map here, what you can see is that there is a, an impact effectively. Um, this meteor, as you can tell, is underwater. There's a black meteor in the middle with a little bit of water and then an impact ring around that. The impact ring is really what you're gonna look for to make sure that you know you have a meteor, but using the map is a helpful tip so that way you you know, aren't just flying around looking for the actual meteor. Anything in a wide radius around, you can tell if it is one or not. All right, now once you have a diamond pick and you're at the meteor, what you're gonna do is go ahead and mine some of this sky stone. We're playing all the mods 10, so I have ulti mine so I can mine a lot at once. We're gonna go ahead and head down into it. All right, now once you've gotten into the meteor itself, you're gonna notice that in the center of it, there's this mysterious cube. You're gonna wanna mine that because that's how you're gonna get the four presses that you're going to need. In addition to that, you're gonna want to mine everything on the inside um, for your first one. As a little tip, if you mine the Certus Quartz crystals and buds on top, you'll actually get more out of them because if you mine the blocks themselves, then you don't get any return from the buds or crystals on them. So go ahead and mine the tops first, and then we'll go ahead and mine the rest of the blocks as well. Now, in addition to the Certus Quartz, you are going to want to have some Sky Stone. So while you're here, go ahead. You're probably gonna get some as you mine down into the Meteor, but go ahead and collect some of the Sky Stone around. Okay, so with that, we are done with the Meteor. The next step is setting up a Charger and an Inscriber. So for the Inscriber, you're gonna need two Sticky Pistons, a Copper Ingot, and then five Iron Ingots. Go ahead and set that down. For the Charger, it's a very similar, but for this one, you need five Iron Ingots and two Copper Ingots, and that's about it. Keep in mind that you're gonna have to hook both of these up to some sort of power source. Early game power, I usually just use a windmill. It doesn't take a lot of power, but you will need some. So I have this set up just as an example. Basically, all you have to do is have some sort of power source with some cabling that goes into both the Inscriber and the Charger themselves. Now, once you have this set up, you're actually ready to start building the components for your ME system. So let's get into that. So the first piece of the ME system we're gonna be making is the ME drive. And in order to do this, you're gonna need a couple different things. The easiest pieces to get are obviously the four iron ingots. In addition to that, we're gonna need two engineering processors and then also two flux ME glass cables. To make these engineering circuits, really all you're gonna need is some printed silicon, some redstone dust, and then a printed engineering circuit. Now that may seem complicated. All you need is a single Certus Quartz dust, a single diamond, and a single redstone for each one of these engineering processes. So total, you're gonna need two of each. Let's walk through how to make them. So for the silicon, what you're gonna do is take the Certus Quartz dust that you got by mining the buds on the top of the meteor itself, and we're gonna put two of those in here. This will make us two silicon. Next, we're gonna take two diamonds, put them into the inscriber along with the engineering press. And what this will do is make the two printed engineering parts. Once those are complete, we're gonna pull that out and then pull the press out as well. Take the two silicon, drop those in there with the silicon press, 
and then wait for that to print the silicon as well. All right, now once we have everything printed, we're gonna pull the press back out of there. We're gonna put the two printed engineering circuits, the two printed silicon and the two redstone dust inside of here. And that's gonna print our two engineering processors. All right, so that means for our ME drive, all we have left are these two flux ME glass cables. So let's make those. Now, in order to make them, we're gonna need quartz fiber. We're gonna need two flux crystals. For the quartz fiber, we're gonna need some glass and then more of the Certus Quartz dust that we already have. Let's get that. So inside of here, we're gonna take our six glass, put it at the top and the bottom, the three Certus Quartz dust, and that's gonna get us three quartz fibers, which for now is enough to allow us to make our ME drive. The next step is how to make the two flux crystals. What we're gonna to do to start is take our Certus Quartz crystals, we're gonna take two of these, and we're gonna put them in the charger until they are charged up. You can tell they're charged because they kind of glow a little bit and look like they got some lightning on them. So we're gonna put those in there, we're gonna pull them out once they're charged, then we're gonna take the two charged Certus Quartz crystals, and throw them into a block of water with nether quartz and redstone dust. Now you really only have to have one of them. As you can see, it made four. However, for what we're doing right now, we just need one because we can throw in the quartz fiber, two flux crystals, and we get four flux ME glass cables from that. So now, as you can see, we have enough to craft the ME drive. We're gonna go ahead and craft that. And this itself does not need to be plugged into power. However, we're gonna set it down here just because we have room for it. All right, so the second thing you're gonna have to do is craft an ME controller. And this is where the Skystone blocks come to play. You're gonna need to take some of the Skystone that you had earlier, put that into a furnace, four of them, and it'll turn into these Skystone blocks. Next, you're gonna to need to craft some more of the Flux Crystals, again, four of them total, and then finally, a single more engineering processor. So again, we're gonna take the Charged Certus Quartz Crystal, throw it in water with Nether Quartz and Redstone Dust. That's gonna get us the second two Flux Crystals we need. You're gonna take four of these Skystone Blocks, throw them into a furnace to get that cooking up. We are then gonna put a diamond into our inscriber, along with an inscriber engineering press. We're then gonna throw a silicon in with a silicon press. Go ahead and finish making out that engineering processor. Finally, come over to the furnace, grab our four Skystone blocks, and then craft ourselves an ME controller. Now this is the part here that does actually have to be connected to power. So we're gonna set it there so that it is hooked up and connected to power. And then next we have two more things that we need to craft. We need to craft a way to actually view what's in our inventory. And then we also have to craft ME storage drives so that we can store stuff inside of this ME system. So let's do those two things. So the first storage drive that you're gonna craft is gonna be a 1K storage drive. All this takes to craft is a logic processor, four of these Certus Quartz crystals, and then four redstone dust. To make the logic processor, it's exactly like the engineering processor. The only difference is use the logic press instead of the engineering press and a gold ingot instead of a diamond. So if at any point you run out of Certus Quartz dust, you can always take Certus Quartz crystals and throw them into the inscriber and they will turn into Certus Quartz dust. This is really mostly helpful when you're trying to get a lot of silicon so that you can make more of these logic processors. So we take our silicon and our gold ingot, we bring it over here, throw the silicon in with the silicon press. Once that's done, we'll throw our logic press in with our gold ingot. And finally, the logic circuit with the silicon and a piece of redstone, and that gives us our logic processor. All right, with that out of the way, let's go ahead, take the Certus Quartz we have, throw it all in there, and we now have a 1K ME storage component. Now, unfortunately, we can't throw that directly into our ME drive. We have to craft a 1K ME item cell. So you can do this two ways. You can either craft it all together with the 1K ME storage component in the middle, or you can craft it with the uh, item cell housing separate and then combine the two. Really, all you're looking at, in addition to what you've already made, is two iron ingots, a copper ingot, three pieces of redstone, and then this quartz glass. The quartz glass is nothing new either. All you have to have is a Certus Quartz dust and then four glass blocks as well. And that crafts four of the quartz glass itself, which since each item cell housing takes two of this, it can make two item cell housings uh, with a single craft. All right, so once we've combined all of that together, we're gonna take the 1K ME item storage cell, and we're gonna go ahead and put it into the ME drive just like this. So now we have the ability to store items. We just need an interface where we can view, put items in and take items out. To accomplish this, we use an item called an ME 
terminal. Now an ME terminal is a combination of a logic processor, an illuminated panel, a formation core, and an annihilation core. Those again, they seem pretty complicated. You've already made a logic processor, so you know how to do that. The second step is this illuminated panel, um, which is just a combination of the quartz glass we just made, some glowstone, redstone, and iron. Again, they're pretty cheap. There's really nothing to write home about there. So we're gonna go ahead and craft this illuminated panel. It crafts three of them. Next, we're gonna go ahead and make the logic processor. So the formation core is a combination of certus quartz, flux dust, and a logic processor. And then the annihilation core is just nether quartz, flux dust, and a logic processor. So we're gonna need two more logic processors, two flux dust, and then a certus quartz and a nether quartz. Let's get right into that. All right, so we're gonna start with making the two logic processors first. All this is really gonna take is to put two gold ingots in here with the printed logic circuits, or two gold ingots in here with the logic presses to make these printed logic circuits. Then we're gonna take two silicon, put it in there with the silicon press. That's gonna make two printed silicon. Next, we're gonna take the printed silicon with the printed logic circuits, and then we're gonna throw some redstone in there. While that's going, we're gonna energize two of these Certus Quartz Crystals, and then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna throw them in the water with the two Redstone and two Nether Quartz to get ourselves some Flux Crystals. Now we are going to need to, once all of that's done, take two of the Flux Crystals and put them in the Inscriber so that we can get the Flux Dust that we need for the Annihilation Core and the Formation Core. All right, let's grab that. Come back over to the crafting table. Look at the ME Terminal. We should have everything we need for the formation core and for the annihilation core, which means that we should now be able to craft our ME terminal. So next, all we have to do is take the flux glass cable, put one right on top of the ME controller, and then connect the ME terminal directly to that. Now you'll open it up and it'll be this interface in here. And all you have to do is drag and drop. It basically functions effectively just like a chest or anything else you would use to store stuff in in Minecraft. You can just drop stuff right in there. Now, if you need to see how full your drive is, you can hover over it and it'll show you what is in that drive specifically so that you can tell how full it is and if you need to make more drives. But that's effectively it. This is everything you need to do to make your very first starting out basic beginner AE2 ME system. Now there's a lot more here that we could expand on if you're interested. Please leave a comment down below if you'd like me to go more in detail into the crafting terminal, into automatic crafting, how to pull stuff in and out of ME systems automatically. I've gone pretty in depth in this. If you've watched any of the All The Mods 9 live stream series that I did, we were doing some pretty incredible stuff with our ME system. So please leave a comment down below if you'd like me to go more in detail into that and have more of an advanced ME system video. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.